Russ Mackey. I'm uh, from the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. Lived there all my life. Born and raised in Wakefield. And right now I live in Besmer, which is five miles from where I grew up, which I started hunting when I was five years old. Uh, so that was back in the 1950s, believe it or not. Weather-wise, back then, it was always, uh, I remember uh, going to deer camp or hunting camp, it was always cold. I remember getting up in the morning and going to my deer blind, and it was always 15, 18 degrees, and I could only maybe stay there for an hour, and I had to walk and warm up and go back to the camp and throw another log in the fire. And things have, have kind of changed. The, the falls have been getting progressively warmer. Um, um, the winters have been getting shorter. Last last winter was a really was a prime example of that. Is uh, uh, this second week of March last year? We had 78 degrees up there the whole month of the whole week of March. The second week of March. Uh, this year is a little bit different. It's kind of back to normal again. But I don't I don't think that's going to last long. Uh, basically, deer season. When I sit on my deer blind, instead of 15 or 18 degrees, it's now 40, 45, 50, 52 degrees, and I can basically hunt in a flannel jacket and don't have to have a heater uh, with the global warming it possibly in, in, it affects hunting because you can stay out in the woods longer I can stay on my deer blind longer and, uh, and obviously the longer you spend on your deer blind the chance for you harvesting a, a buck is, is is greatly improved or back in back in the day back in the 70s and 80s when it was so cold you could stay there for maybe an hour hour and a half and have to leave and, and go back back to camp to warm up so um, it's greatly improved uh, your your chances of success for deer hunting. Okay. Overall, I don't, I, I, with with uh, with the global warming, I don't, it's not good for our economy because we're so uh, oriented on tourism up in in, in the Upper Peninsula. Um, before, when the ski hills used to open in November and uh, hunting would open a little bit later than that, um, we used to have a lot of people that would come up there and, and spend a lot of money early in the season, November and in early part of December. Now, the last, I would say the last 12 or 15 years, people don't come up to the, the North Country until Christmas time. Well, I think if you, if you take a look at what Al Gore has proposed, uh, you know, uh, man has to cut back on their greenhouse exhaust emissions for number one. Uh, I think a lot of foreign countries need to be brought on board to stop their, uh, their power plants by burning all uh, uh, natural coal. And whether we can get that going or not, it's debatable. But um, I think those are uh, really the two keys and as far as I'm concerned.